I'm Wendy Hate Scribner. This is Wendy Hate Create. I think we're on section or part four of how to make a hand painted quilted laptop tote. Now I'm at the point now where I've cut out the backing to go on this and I zigzagged everything down. But before I begin, one of the things I've forgotten to tell you is that all of these videos that I've been producing have been sponsored by RE Supply International. Resupply is a company that creates products for the real estate and the builder industry. So if you're a builder or if you're in the real estate industry, go to that website. I will put it below in the video and you can see the products that that company makes for your industry. And a big shout out to them. Okay, we're going to move forward. I've done a few things. I'm going to adjust this and explain what I've done and what's coming up next. So hang tight. Okay, I'm about ready to get quilting. And I will show you that I zigzagged around this and I just went with the flow. I didn't worry about trying to make it perfect. I did two rows because this, you could see it's really fraying. And I wanted to make sure I didn't lose it meaning that the fabric would unravel completely after it was finished. So I did a double row just to make sure. And I think that'll also make it more interesting. But I like this real tailored top stitching combined with almost the shabby chic kind of look. And I like that a lot. I think that'll be, when this is finished, I think it's gonna be a really interesting piece. Now let's turn this to the other side. I took some more Ultra Suede, I put a pocket and again, I'm going to say this again, never, ever, ever, ever put an iron directly on ultra suede. It'll make it shiny and it'll ruin the fabric. You always use a press cloth on top. So these have all been zigzagged into place. This has been top stitched. And then I put my really cool sewing label that I had made at um, Super Label Shop. Shout out to them because it was a really easy process. I just dropped my logo in and then they wove the design into this fabric. So that was really cool. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm moving this around while I'm talking. I have cut out this fabric and I, I think it's called, it's made by, I think the company name is Basel. I'll put a, a photograph of the end of the bolt and the name of it so you can see the fabric. This has fabric glue on it. So when I'm all I have to do is lay this down and iron it and it will stay in place so that when I'm stitching or quilting, it'll all stay in place. And I'm not gonna follow any rules. I'm just gonna have fun. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like doing to quilt this because that makes it even more fun. Now I've used the same backing on my totes and these totes, the patterns are available on my website, www.wendyhatecreate.com and you can see how it gives it stiffness, so it'll it'll sit up. Uh, if you use regular quilt batting, it'll it'll look good and look quilted, but it won't have enough body to stand up on its own. And I want my totes to function like that, and I want my computer bag to have protection and be and also have a little stability. So that's where I'm at right now, and I'm going to iron this all down and get quilting. Catch you in section five. 